So a lot of people pointed out to me on Patreon that in the flashback that we see from Patrick's kind of perspective the entire time, when we do see Licht do magic, he's using sword magic, not light magic. So that is a clue as to how the Licht we know, we've known this whole time isn't Licht. But the one of the biggest reasons I missed that, one, I, up until the very end, up until Patrick got reincarnated, I just assumed this was the original Licht. So I really wasn't even looking at the title of the magic. Plus, it is the same color as like the swords that Pat at Licht was, Patry was using versus Julius. But that is definitely a big indication. That is a very low key, like kind of Easter egg thing. So that is good to know. But sword magic versus Patry's light magic. This is very interesting. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 96 of Black Clover. This one's called The Black Bull's Captain versus The Crimson Wild Rose, which the Black Bull's Captain is Yami, and The Crimson Wild Rose, I have no idea who that is. So this should be very interesting. This is the second episode in a row they've left me on a cliffhanger with Yuno turning into an elf. So if I don't get answers for that, somebody's getting beat up. But I'm so excited. I got to find out what's happening. People keep saying it only gets better and better. And I literally don't believe you guys. That's how good this shit's been. So I got to find out for myself. I'm going to hop right on into this. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description, like always. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated. Bla uh, bla I almost said the Black Bulls because it's the title of this episode. Black Clover, episode 96, the Black Bulls captain versus the Crimson Wild Rose. Let's do this. Right back into the good stuff. Look at real with that cool paint magic. Also, I'm sorry to pause it so early into the episode, but a lot of people also let me know that real versus you know, and looking back on it, because I've seen that episode probably four times at this point, Rill was way more playful and just messing around, not really trying to super win. And his crystal only broke because it couldn't handle Rill's own magic. So Rill, we still haven't seen the full extent. You know, couldn't beat him relatively easy. Couldn't beat him at all if, if Rill really tried, which I see now. Like, thank you guys for the context. These captains now seeing Mary Leona, Seeing Yami, seeing Rill, these captains are a whole nother beast. Oh, so all the humans that worked under the Eye of the Midnight Sun have been marked and are getting the life force sucked out of them. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I would be so confused. Rill's like, was that me? I know. <laughs> Don't worry, Rill. It's not you. Imagine Rill sucking out their magic. Yep. Looks like those those look just like green versions of the elf souls, so. <laughs> yes, this isn't the time to talk about that. <laughs> That's why Licked, or Patry, I gotta start calling him Patry, said he didn't want to injure Licked. He's shining just like you know. Is he also gonna get reincarnated into his elf form? I need to know more about that. Marie too? Luck and the copper magic guy? That's one on Nozel's team, right? Pooley and uh, Fragno? And Rill? Raya's looking like old Raya now. What are you thinking, Nero? What's your time? <laughs> <laughs> Once you're done, let me know what's going on. So I'm assuming the one in that sphere with you know Mimosa, that's the licked. Everybody there? Klaus Hammond as well? This is not good at all.
So my question is, oh, oh, that's Owen's jellyfish magic. Don't tell me he transformed too. Oh, that has to be. My question is, especially because the voice actors were the same, are these the elves spirits who now moved into these human hosts, or have these humans always been elves, but now we're like being taken over by Patry's will? I need I need to know more details. I'm very curious though, because they are turning straight on humans. Owens and Marks. I've never seen Owens go on the offensive. I've like taken over these human bodies. I wonder like what made these people get chosen though. That's hella strong. Cover up Julius's body. This is actually going to be a rough battle. Everyone who's been reincarnated has a huge power spike as well. I agree. Lightless Blade Storm. Ooh, so clean. <laughs> like, you guys don't know who you're messing with, to be honest. Oh, he hit him. He did. He knocked him out. He didn't do any serious damage. Charlotte, the Crimson Wild Rose. I didn't even think of Charlotte. Oh my god, she's even hotter as an elf. She's gonna be so powerful. Spiny Prickly Queen. Big facts. We can always rebuild buildings. But look at that. It's literally like we're fighting a boss. She having a fucking rose sword? Ooh. Three cheers for. Oh, we can have fucking vines come off of it? This is a throwback. So I don't know that though. The roses turn blue. I don't know if they mentioned that earlier. When the curse happened. Am I crazy or is she a captain of the blue roses? What's the name of her squad? She is the blue roses. I wonder if the name of her squad has anything to do with her curse. And here comes Yami, being the man like we always know, saving literally everybody in the kingdom. So facts. Yes, I need to know more about that as well. See, the blue roses did dissipate. Really? But now they're red? That, okay. I wouldn't say kill off the lingering effects, but when William transformed into Patry, uh, Julius did ask, what happened to your scar? That's not magic. And he says, this, the curse that was inflicted on this human's house has nothing to do with my elfism. So, I mean, it's just, that's interesting. I really, I really wasn't paying attention to the color of her roses back in her old magic days, but they were blue and now they're red because the curse isn't affected right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Soul. Yeah, she's probably very upset by what's going on. She loves Charlotte. She's probably heartbroken by that. Yeah, definitely is not her. Oh, take Julius's body. I agree. Okay, now is not the time, Soul. Oh, 
Yami's just spitting facts. Straight facts. It's the first time she's entrusting Charlotte to anyone, especially a man. Yami's the one to do it, though. Yami's already saved her once. He will save her again. Didn't call her the prickly queen. Called her Charlotte. <laughs> Crimson Vine Spear. Dark Cloak Dimension Slash. Oh my god. Oh, we have to go against Luck, you know, Klaus, Hammond, Pooley, Fraggle. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Well, it does seem as if these human bodies are hosts for the reincarnated elf souls, sort of like William and Patry, but they don't have the ability to switch back over like William and Patry. So, and their magic, because they were they're elves and their mana is just naturally off the charts, has been increased by a number, and it's insane. We have to go against an increased super list of strong people including marks owens charlotte you know klaus hammond luck the copper guy fragile pooley the two guys on nozel's team like raya again like this is so crazy and like i thought the majority of the fighting this arc was going to be over because we had some crazy fights but it literally feels like we're just getting started i have no idea literally have no idea oh my lord i I am so proud of my man Yami for doing what needs to be done, uh, taking out Marks and Owens, protecting Julius' body the whole time. It actually, it hit me in that episode that Yami is the only one who knows that Julius is dead. Like a lot of people who only were sawing, seeing like flashes of lights and seeing like the bright lights and the swords in the sky have no idea what that man did and he was willing to lay down his life for the peeps and he, he did it and like, oh, he's... I don't even want to talk about it it's so heartbreaking but uh, i'm so glad he's protecting his body he needs a proper burial funeral all that he is a savage shit is hitting the fan i have to watch this next episode i think i'm gonna hop into that right now guys i gotta do it if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel uh don't forget to check out all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter check out that patreon early access and full length four episodes ahead all that don't forget to drink some water uh be safe tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace